Hey guys, how you doing? Chris Rod, welcome back for another video. Lawn care season, it is May. Uh, Bermuda grass here in West Texas is what we're growing in the backyard. And this is the follow up video to the aeration comparison. Um, on the right hand side over here, we did the core aeration. And on that side over here, we did the liquid aeration. Now throughout the week, I have not mowed the grass at all. I haven't edged. If you guys follow me at all, you'll know I usually mow on average about three times a week, okay? So I haven't touched it. And that was part of the test is to see what kind of growth response we get from the aeration on the core side or the liquid side, okay? So keep in mind that the core aeration, when you pull those cores out, all you're doing is simply allowing for airflow and water penetration into your soil compared to the liquid side okay the liquid aerate product that i use is primarily it's a zero zero five okay uh potassium hydroxide humic and fulvic acid okay that's primarily on the liquid aerate side okay so we'll go look at that real quick and we'll see what's grown what's not grown i did want to show you guys these areas as well you guys know I dug this up earlier part of the year and it's filling in, filling in pretty nice. It's uneven as crap, <laughs> to be 100% honest with you guys. Uneven as crap. The method that I use is not the primary method of doing that kind of job, okay? What you'd wanna do is go ahead and you can use a, um, a sod cutter, okay? It'll give you a nice clean cut on the soil side of things. That way, if you do happen to relay that turf back where it once was, you got some even uh, cut turf from the sod cutter. Now on this side over here, look at that. It's just pristine. Good Lord have mercy. There's something about this area of the yard where I usually have zero issues and it just grows. I mean, it's, it's very nice. You can tell it hasn't been cut. It's already producing seed heads because of our temperature here in El Paso and you know, it fluctuates. So the grass thinks it's going into stress mode and it's trying to protect itself by reproducing. That's where you get all these seed heads, right? Uh-oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Chris, you just said you don't have any trouble spots here. Look at this. You see that spot right there? What does that look like to you? Looks like a dog pee spot, right? Well, let me, uh, let me break it down, okay? I get out here one day this past week and I notice my fish emulsion for my garden was tipped over and uh had leaked out some fertilizer this is a 511 it's organic very very low look at that right there it says won't burn look at the tip of this <laughs> the dog got a hold of it man my freaking my pit chewed up the top knocked the bottle over i walk out, i walk out here the next morning and i've got fish emulsion just this big old glop of uh fertilizer there it does burn okay it can burn the lawn if you let it fall over and spill a freaking huge blob of it onto the, the freaking grass i saturated the crap out of it try to push that that fertilizer down i puddled it so i ain't too worried about it because i know it's going to recover all right guys let's get into this video let's get down to the turf let's see what's grown and what's not grown i'm gonna let you guys be the judge y'all tell me which side you think grew the most okay we could go for color liquid aerate core aeration on that side over there and we can go for growth, okay? Let's see here. All right. These are some of these trouble spots that we've been trying to get to fill in. What I will say that I have noticed are we've got a good amount of stolons. Look at these guys. And they're tacked in good, but they're filling in like it's supposed to. And same thing over here. Look at this guy right here. 
Look at that common Bermuda in my hybrid. Check out this spot over here. This is another primary trouble area. Same thing, we got stolons. They are growing and they will fill in and tack in everywhere they're supposed to be. So, I don't know. What I don't see on this side, which is the core aeration side, is a lot of um, top growth. I don't see too much. Okay. I will say that this spot right here is definitely recovering uh, pretty well. Not the best of shape. Now let's take a look back over here on the aeration, the liquid aeration side. This was one of the other trouble spots that we had. And same scenario, we got some good stolons that are coming in. Filling in nice. What I do notice on this side is more top growth. We got more, like and when you get over here, look at this. Right down in here, see that top growth right there? There's more of it on this side with the liquid aerate something. Let's get another viewpoint here. Lots, I'd say color wise, if you can tell, there is this dark, see the line that divides? It's like this dark, dark spot that goes all the way up that way compared to like this light area that way. So we definitely, I, I would definitely say it's safe to say there's a color variation from uh, the liquid side, which is this side right here, compared to the aeration side, which is this half over there. I'd say there's a good color difference there. And those dog speed spots are just killing me. So I'll let you guys be the judge of this, all right? Y'all tell me. All right, there's another viewpoint. And I have it mowed, okay? So we're not promoting growth that way, but the only thing I can tell you is on the liquid air eight side, we got a, def a definite color difference, depending on your point of view, and uh, a lot more top growth on the liquid aeration side compared to this uh, core aeration side. And if you guys didn't notice, you don't see the cores anymore, right? There's a good amount over there still, but for a majority of the part, comparatively speaking, after we core aerated, you can't see the cores and what happened to them? Well, they just break down. They just, that sandy soil just withers away. It disintegrates, okay? Once I mow it, let's take another look at it. Those cores probably will be gonna be, gonna be gone. Today's video is simply an update video on the core aeration versus the liquid aeration. Comparatively speaking to some previous years, you know, the lawn is not in the greatest shape. I give you that much for sure, 100%. Now, the reason why we are on this journey, the way the lawn is what it is, is because I am not applying fertilizer. I have not applied any fertilizer. Normally, um, I would have applied two applications of fertilizer already for the season. I guarantee you this would look, some of these trouble areas would look totally different. It would look a lot like what's going on over there, which is interesting because that area doesn't get any fertilizer either. Um, I know you guys saw me just mow and you've probably already seen, I've got the fertilizer spreader out. Well, the reason why I'm doing that is because I will be applying some of the um, dirt booster today, okay? So organic, lawn care, soil test. It came back, all our macros and micros are looking very good. So that's why I have not applied fertilizer yet, but we will be putting down some dirt booster, okay? You've got warm enough soil temperatures where you can start adding organic material, whether it be something like biochar, humic, uh, humate, or the aeration product that we utilize that's got the fulvic and the sea kelp, things of that nature. Um, 
activity, soil temperatures. You got a lot of good bacteria, or not bacteria, the mycorrhiza, the good fungi, all that's activated and actively growing and producing uh, inside of your soil system. So therefore, we're gonna go ahead and feed the lawn today some Dirt Booster, which is not a fertilizer, okay? It's uh, primarily corn distillate with some uh, biochar and humic acid inside of it. So we're gonna start feeding those microorganisms to eat that product okay and then when they do their thing the cycle that they have they are going to start making the already available nutrients in the soil the nitrogen phosphorus potassium the manganese all that goodness readily available for the plant for the grass plant to start to uptake okay that's why we're doing this particular application we've got warm enough soil temperatures for it um, I'm on a journey of this year to see how long I can go without fertilizing. There is a huge difference in the growth rate of the grass compared to when I do fertilize versus when I'm not fertilizing, okay? Otherwise, this stuff, it would look a, a heck of a lot different, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this product down. Um, if you guys have any questions about the video, leave a comment below. I, I am interested in your feedback, whether you've noticed on your end as a viewer, if there's a difference between the core versus the liquid aeration applications we did a week ago. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take it easy. See you next time.